And just so you understand, they, the protesters have broken down the barricades that the Secret Service had put up. They had been holding the barricades together, actually, with handcuffs, of all things, to try to keep the protesters from breaking them down. And the protesters have broken those barricades down and broken some of the Secret Service's handcuffs, the metal handcuffs. That's how much force was applied. So it is now protester versus Secret Service riot shield right outside the White House. And these officers and riot police have been taking bricks and a lot of other abuse, and you can see them now pushing everybody back. They haven't made any arrests yet. It appears as though at least a couple yeah. of Secret Service officers, one of them just got hurt. You can see him walking back there clutching his head. Um, and we don't know whether that was bricks or firecrackers or what happened. We mm -hmm. weren't able to see what happened. Uh, great stuff. Appreciate that. We want to get your thoughts also on the president this morning. He's up and tweeting about some of the things that happened last night. Here's a portion of what he tweeted. He said, great job last night at the White House by the U.S. Secret Service. They were not only totally professional, but very cool. I was inside, watched every move and couldn't have felt more safe. They let the protesters scream and rant as much as they wanted. But whenever someone got too frisky or out of line, they would quickly come down on them hard didn't know what hit them. The front line was replaced with fresh agents like magic, big crowd, professionally organized, but nobody came close to breaching the fence. It would, if they would have been greeted with the most vicious dogs and most ominous weapons I have ever seen, that's when people would have been really badly hurt, at least. Many Secret Service agents just waiting for action. We put the young ones on the front line, sir. They love it and good practice. As you saw last night, they were very cool and very professional. Never let it get out of hand. Thank you. On the bad side, the D.C. Uh, mayor, Muriel Bowser, who is always looking for money and wouldn't let the D.C. police get involved, not their job. Nice. Your reaction, Dan. Pete, the greatest honor of my lifetime was to serve in the Secret Service for 12 years of my life. I was humbled by even the experience, and when I was offered the job, I shed a tear. I mean that. But I'm telling you, and I, uh, to the protesters, listen up. I know you watch this channel. I, I take that back, not to the, to the rioters. The protesters, God bless you. right to protest. I support that 100%. To the rioters. You are making a catastrophic, judgmental error. If you think for one moment the Secret Service is going to abandon the White House like they abandoned that precinct in Minneapolis, you are making a catastrophic error. I am not kidding. It's not a joke. This is not faux bravado. I'm not trying out for a Stallone movie. I am telling you the truth. This will not end well. I'm warning you. It will not end well. You are a bunch of 18-year-old kids who've been pampered in your basement your entire life. You found an opportunity to go and instigate a riot and collective action because you never do anything yourself because you're a chump. This will not end well. I am not kidding. I am doing you a public service. Dan, Protest Dan, all one of the you things want. That God has bless been... you. Do not do that. Do not try to get in that White Dan, House. One of it's the a things... huge, huge mistake. Well, what, what do you anticipate will happen in the next couple of days with respect to Minneapolis and other cities around the country? And let me tell you something. It was the old Giuliani approach. He wasn't the mayor then, but they kept it. And the Giuliani approach to rioting and civil unrest that turned violent was this. The first dude who throws a rock goes to jail. The second one who throws a rock goes to jail. I'm telling you, there's no third rock. That is it. It so stops. Dan, and then you move on to the next block and do it again. And this let them vent strategy, which was, has been tried before, let people vent, is nonsense. You are so costing Dan, people their lives and their business. This is America. Yeah. This is not Beirut. Is it time then, Dan, to increase what you prosecute those with because it's not just a few agitators this is across the country and from my coverage even in the inauguration of president trump they had arrested some 200 people and they were ultimately trying to narrow it down to get one or two organizers and charge them with conspiracy to incite riot and that pretty much fell apart is it time now yes. to start getting these people and charging them with domestic terrorism yes yes Yes, well said. This is, Griff, listen, the people who show up to these, these riots, not the protesters, the people who show up to riot, they're showing up, Griff, with chemical incendiary devices ready to burn your city down. These are not protesters. These are domestic terrorists. They are showing up with weapons specifically designed to fracture glass and windows to then go walk in, loot the place, place a chemical incendiary 
military device and burn your city to the ground. They are no different than Al-Qaeda terrorists. That's what these people are. They are terrorists. They use violence, disruption, chaos, theft, and the potential of death. There's a, I saw a story about a police officer in California who's now dead. They are domestic terrorists. These people should be tracked down. The video should be used. And Griff, if it takes two years, three years, or five years, anyone involved in this, again, I'm a constitutionalist. Your right to assemble is always a big R, God-given right, and should be protected. But if you showed up to this with an incendiary device to burn someone's business down, with weapons to destroy people and property, then you should be tracked down to the end of this earth, and you should do time in jail, not for disorderly conduct, where you get out in a day, but for a conspiracy charge to commit terror. And you should go to jail for a long time, and maybe that'll send a message. One of the things that's been the most uh, difficult to watch has been the destruction of these businesses. It's just, it's heartbreaking beyond measure. We had uh, a, a really heartbreaking story on earlier. KB Bala, a, sports, a, a scores sports bar owner, and his wife, Toyana Bala, on the damage from the riots. Listen to what they had to say, and then we'll talk about it. I started this journey back in November when I signed my lease to this new bar and restaurant. This was like a dream um, coming through. So I was very excited about it. And in the last 20, um, 48 hours, it just, everything just disappeared, just gone. As we are standing in a restaurant and um, we are trying to clean up, people are coming in the back and they're trying to steal as we are in the restaurant. And we are telling them that we are the owners of the restaurant. And they still stood there and looked at us and they were still trying to take us safe out of the restaurant. So we haven't even opened yet. There was nothing even in the safe. Yeah, so Dan, these you are know, people Jen, I, in many cases yeah. who've worked their entire lives. They've worked their whole lives to establish some of these businesses. They turn around and seconds later, it just everything seems to vanish from them. This is devastating to watch. You know, Jed, what about justice for them? What about justice for Mr. and Mrs. Bala there? You know, Tucker played a clip during the 1992 riots in L.A. of an older black gentleman saying the same thing. What about them? busted their asses their entire life to build that business and a couple of punks go in there and steal everything. What about their justice? You believe in justice? You're full of crap if you're a protester and you even use the word, use the word justice there. It's embarrassing what happened there. This is an abomination. Absolutely. Great point. Oh. We appreciate you being here, Dan, as always. Thanks Thank so you, much. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate Thanks, it. Dan. Thanks, guys.